Hello, okay, I'm going to show you today the science that I have chosen for my third, fourth grader. Um, it's a completely new science curriculum to me. Um, and this science is geared, excuse me. Okay, the science is geared for grades three to six. Um, it is by, put out by Masterbooks. This is the teacher's edition. And when I received the Masterbooks um, curriculum catalog in the mail, um, they talked about the Charlotte Mason method and how they kind of centered their curriculum around that. Um, that being said, I'm going to just try to pull out. There is a third book out, and I really would love to have it. Um, this was a... This was a what? Um, like a special on EduSense um, during this past like, spring summer. And I ended up getting it. And when I went online two nights ago to look up some more information, I saw that the third book was out and I would really like to get it. Um, I'm going to go kind of more into my daughter would really like to be a nurse or a doctor when she grows up. And... Her, I was kind of raving about this on Facebook, and I actually had two other mothers really ask more information on how to get it. That being said, now we ended up doing like this co-op kind of thing where they're going to come over once a week, they read their information at home, and then when they come over, we're going to kind of do the activities together. Um, this, let's see, I think you start with... The electrifying nervous system and how it is laid out. Um, you have vocabulary, you have the three levels. So here's the vocabulary words that each level will memorize. And over here, it gives you the definition that you um, look it up and learn. Here is the setback that I found with this curriculum. Um, their color coding does not match up. There are two or three words that are miscolor coded or not even in the list but are on here. That is the only thing I have found to be inaccurate and I just went with the color coding on here for the most part. Um, one word I did not and it, it, I don't think it's gonna make a life or difference situation or even a huge curriculum different situation. Um, this one um, is gonna be the second term. So first term, second term, if I get this right. And the teacher's book, I am slowly but surely putting in a three wing binder because it's easier for me. And, oh, <laughs> and I'm putting out the schedule to put in each person's notebook. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, so this is the second. I just want to make sure I'm getting this right. This is the lesson plan and pacing. Yada, yada, yada. Level two, level three, activities. And I'm going to show you more of this. So it must be in here. Okay, this does include the... Um, this is one year anatomy. Um, it does include the weekly lesson schedule, the worksheets and exam, activities and supply lists, and the answer keys. All of that is in your teacher's guide. In the back of the teacher's guide, it, um, this te teacher guide is developed to assist educators in the following ways. Features, workflow, daily schedule, course material, time, grading. Um, and... It's got everything that you really will need, and even a checklist. Um, I'm not going to show you. I rescheduled the work pages, which is why it's in a three-room binder. I rescheduled my work pages because I needed it to work with, not in the order of numbers, because how they um, set it up in the teacher guide is it's broken out by activities 
and by worksheets that they have to do. Um, and so educator aids, that's broken up, and then you have the activity section, and then you have the worksheet section. I needed it, I function better when it would be laid out as I would need it. So the flashcards, that is another thing, the flashcards. I rewrote the flashcards. Um, this is how they come. They're really tiny, they're on flimsy paper, and I literally rewrote them on 3x5 cards. How you do it is all up to you. Um, anyway, and so I re so you work with those flashcards first. You're going to work through these flashcards throughout the whole um, year. The worksheets, I you'll see it's 137 after page 40. I don't know. You can see that. I don't want to show too much because um, I don't know about copyrights. Um, and then it's got page 89, which is an activity. After that, an activity is a worksheet, and I literally set this up the way that I would function best. And so that is how I got this from EduSense. I am loving this. My daughter, we haven't even started our school year yet, and she has gone through these books many times and kind of read over it and is telling me different things and is showing her brother different things. And so science has come to life, which is, is you know, it's not just a textbook. Um, along with that at EduSense, this was one of those recommendations next to it thing, and I got it, and I'm really glad I did, and I actually am going to recommend it too. It is also put out by Masterbooks, and this is the Exploring History of Medicine. And I think this is going to be very valuable with the activities and worksheets that are in here. It is not required. It, they don't rec As far as I have seen, I don't want to say this for sure, as far as I have seen, and I haven't read every single sentence and every single page, this is not even mentioned in the curriculum. So it's not a requirement. Um, however, um, it's got from the ancient physicians of Pharaoh to genetic engineering, the history of medicine, and um, there is also something I'm going to show you when I show you what I've set out for the science curriculum. What are you doing, Grilio? Um, this has some information in it that I think will work well with the worksheets and activities. And on that note, I'm going to have to end here, show you the curriculum, and get dinner on the table. Um, so. Alright, so these are the resources that I have. Um, uh, anything that I got off of EduSense, I will post the link down below. Um, if I got it secondhand, I will see if I can find it on Amazon and also link below. Um, so this is just, what do they call it, Mona Melissa Peel and Learn Minis play sets, and it's got like the brain, the spine, um, and all these circulatory systems, muscular, blah, 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 nervous, and all these. Um, and this is a, you know, peel and play, um, uh, set. I can't think of the word. And here is where you can get it. And here is this. This is the smaller size. And I thought this would just be one more way that, um, their science will come to life. So here's that. This is what it kind of looks like. And, um, no, it hasn't been opened yet because that's kind of like a um, treat. Once you've learned it all, you get to do it all together. Um, for this particular week, the assignment is to write a story, um, kind of um, explaining why you think. Um, I'll, you know what? I'll look at the page and I'll show you as I get down to the bottom because this is just piled up right now. But anyway, I thought that. Um, other than the blurb that the little book has about each person on the timeline, I got an additional two books from the library on some of the people mentioned in the timeline. Um, so this one has Galen, Archimedes wasn't really one, but Hippoc Hippocrates and Aristotle. I'm trying to cover up the library thing. And then this one also has some more. So if they want to kind of look up a little bit more information, it's the kind of thing that I would have done 
um, as a kid, and so I kind of wanted that to be available to them. Can you see my homeschool mess? Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, moving on. This was another book that um, EduSense had along with that science, and so I kind of got it as um, just all three, and this also has more additional information on some of the people in the timeline, and I'm kind of working my way through it. Um, I did highlight certain names so it would be easier for the children to find. Let's see, so this one is um, Hippocrates, and here's Galen. Galen, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. And then I haven't, you know, beyond that I haven't really gone through. So this is the Exploring the History of Medicine by John Hudson Tyner, and I've seen other works by him on Amazon, so, um, but I got this one off of EduSense. Um, this I picked up for 25 cents at the library. Um, this is the Classical Conversations timeline card, and I thought there would be some, um, maybe some helpful information. Um, this one's Famous Scientists. And this is biology and geology. But I thought there might be some helpful information for the children um, with the medicine. I don't really know. I haven't really studied that, to be honest. So if there is, I will put um, a little caption here to let you know. Um, this is also something I picked up from the used bookstore. And so it's another resource. This is one, I think I got this off of um, Amazon as a recommendation for um, the human body science. This is one that I saw on Amazon and I again picked it up as an additional resource and I'm really liking it. My daughter has already, I think this is the one that she glanced through. Yeah. Yep. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, this is um, heart, heart transplants. Some things were kind of gross. Um, antibiotics, shots, insulin, um, a little bit of information. Anyway, so that's another, again, resource that I picked up. This was fascinating. Um, I have to say there are some things in here that will probably be questionable for some people. Um, but I really, really, really liked how they handled this. Um, so they talk about genetics and DNA profiling in the future, and then they don't really say, you know, why, um, there is, there's, okay, this is like evolution right here, but it is not so grounded. Like, my kids could pick this out and be like, well, wait a minute, but God, you know, said, and it wasn't so over their heads. It's very simple um, and definitely leaves a lot um, to kind of say, well, yep, this is how some people think, but I didn't really feel like I, it was trying to be ingrained in me, for lack of a better word, brainwashed in me. Um, this is about eugenics, which kind of talks about the DNA process process of today, like how we um, do a lot, you know, with embryos and all kinds of things, and then they kind of give you a little food for thought, you know, if all this happens today and all this is good, somebody like Albert Einstein may not have been created. Do you think this is a good thing or, you know, etc.? And I really, really, really like how this is being handled. Um, again, this is going to be something that I kind of go with them. They are not ready to have... Um, how old are you, Emma? Eight. Thank you. She's eight, so she's not really ready to have a debate on um, things like evolution and eugenics and things like that. But... Um, Again, it was another resource that I'm really glad to have, and it will spark some good conversations later on. Here's the, um, this, these are the student books. So this is the Breathtaking Respiratory System. This is the second book that we go through. And this is the first. Yes. Okay, 
So these these are the student books. And I was going to show you something. Oh, it's it's in here. Um, no, actually, it's in the black notebook over there. Can I have that, please? Um, so these are the two, and now there's a third that I really want and an updated teacher's guide. So oh. I will try to figure out how I'm going to deal with this later on for future children. Um, but these are the two that I got off of EduSense. And I am slowly but surely putting the teacher's um, workbook in here. And let me, I was going to, do, 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 do. I was going to show you that story, the story sh challenge, oh. that's 89. Um, okay, so, um, so this is one of the assignments. Choose one of the people from the historical timeline, write a short story of how this discovery may have been made. And you can be as creative as you like, for example. And then here's, you know, the, the guys. So that's why I got those um, biographies of the other folks. So this is the teacher's edition. And you have a um, activity checklist, supply list that you're going to need. You have um, the level and the, um, okay, okay, um, worksheets and logical and all this. And then you also have your first semester suggested daily schedule, and it's all laid out for you. And you can put the due date and, and the grade and check if it's done. I really, really am loving how this is working out. And this is a teacher's guide. As you can see, I am trying to fill this all out. And then these are the biographies. Oh, oh, I know, I know, I know. Mm. Um, I'm going to have to rush through this because little guy wants to go. These are the biographies that I have right now for them to um, just kind of read um, for science, just for fun. And then there's another one that I have coming about Galen that I found on Amazon that I will link below. So that's their science for this year. This is, again, grades 3 to 6. My daughter's going to be doing it. My son is actually going to be doing Apologia. But I wanted to show you this and kind of give my review on it. I am really excited about it. I'm really glad with it. I love Apologia, but um, this just really works with us. And when we get to Apologia, um, the body one that I can't even remember the name of right now, um, I think it will really work well with this curriculum, maybe even to kind of work together as she gets into um, the higher grades. So again, I will link everything that I've mentioned in the description box below.